what's up youtube it's your boy rusty buckets and i'm back bringing y'all another video now i got a new car for y'all today you might ask me do you have enough rusty buckets like how many will quench the thirst how many buckets is too much how many buckets is enough how rusty do they have to be um and it's it varies a lot you know but basically i was able to trade the other car i might post a video on that and i might not but i was able to trade the other car for this so um it ended up being a good deal the other car overheated it was a north star engine it was just a lot of i shouldn't have probably shouldn't even bought it in the first place i mean that car was gone i mean it would take about 10 to 15 minutes to overheat so i could get to where i needed to go if it's in town but then i'd have to stop and let it sit for a couple hours and you know i ain't trying to do all that plus on top of that the shifter was broke on it the steering column all right guys without further ado here is new car yes it must have been wrecked before because this is a different hood different color hood and it's got a lot of space on this side and no gap on the other side so it's definitely wrecked and had to been stretched out or something pulled back together different side piece but other than that i mean and it drives fine too I traded something for that ran and overheated for something that doesn't overheat. So I've already got more use out of this thing than that other car. So I'm winning. I need some WD-40 on that for sure. Something, some lubricant, something. But yeah, it's not bad at all. At first I didn't really like the, uh, the year of it. You know, the body style. It's got the leather seat, so interior is nice. Decent at least. 180 on the dash, so not horrible. At first, I didn't like the body style, man, but these circular tail lights kind of growing on me. They're pretty cool. And of course, it's the LS V6 3800 motor in it. So everybody's telling me that those last a while. So definitely an uptrade from a North Star engine. For sure, definitely upgrade from the Cadillac engine. But yeah, it's decent. Not too bad. Back seats are probably the cleanest thing about this car. But yeah, it's really not, not bad. It's got AC, heat, gets me from point A to point B. And the engine's halfway reliable. Transmission's a little rough, but I put some stop slip in it, so hopefully it'll last me, uh, you know, some miles on it. Hey, if this thing, this Chevy, got me some miles on it, and it's at 302 right now, so I think I'll be good. Astro van's clean, man. Oh, I'll give you a look of the van, too. Show y'all a little look of the van. This thing hasn't got too much use ever since i got the impala which is good i've been wanting to park this i've been daily in this thing for the past about seven months got the doors that open up wood in it suede everywhere ashtrays on all the back seats got the couch seats things all right man it sure has lasted a hell of a lot longer i thought she'd be dead by now that's probably the rustiest out of all the buckets just because of under here and just how old it is there's a little bit of rust on the impala on this side it's all right under here you wouldn't even see unless you look down here and it's on there because it's missing that side skirt piece it's got it on this side so we're good here a little rest right there but we're all good because it's got that side piece the other side don't got it probably because smacked off whenever it got hit who knows but yeah 
Got that. Got the van. I think we're doing good with both of them rusty buckets. This thing's not as rusty. 120,000 on it. Not that rusty. She more dirty. Need to get her going. Get the TVs back in it and everything. Got the carpet to go over the other carpet so it doesn't get it dirty. Need to get this limo driving, man. I need to get it. I mean, it drives, but I need to find a purpose for it, really. It's been sitting. Starts up and everything. Don't make me have to start it on y'all. It drives, man. Don't make me have to do it to you. Things clean, digital dash and all. This thing is pretty clean. Yup, digital dash. But yeah, man. Need to get a couple clips for this. This shit's still not all the way in place. It needs a couple clips. Little shit, little shit. I don't know how much I'm gonna, further I'm gonna go with it before I sell it. It just needs a bunch of tiny little pieces. But I don't even wanna put all that together if I'm about to sell it. This window still needs to be put on track. It's still got like this, so. She's definitely not up to par par, but for all purposes, she runs, drives, looks decent. For a used limo, I mean, it's not terrible. I don't want to put all types of money into it because it's still a used limo. It's a 01. So that's how it sits right there. Not bad though. And you guys can tell me what kind of content you want to see. I can line them all up, do driving runs of them, shit like that. So y'all just let me know. I'm gonna keep keep all the content coming. Something cool about the Impala, a little bit of rest there. That's not bad. Something cool about this is the headlights used to cut in and out, which was horrible. I couldn't even drive it at night. And I told my buddy, he's an electrician. I'm like, man, I need you to fix this. Them headlights can't cut in and out. I got to get them working. So he checked the fuses, nothing there. Had to be something in the wiring. So what he did was he actually ran wires from the fog lights, which the button for that's right there. He ran the wires from the fog lights to the actual headlights so when you press the fog light button the headlights come on so that solved the problem because the wiring from the fog lights is good it was wiring from the headlights that's the problem so that's what this speaker wire is here you had to get behind into where the headlights are and rewire it but yeah this engine's decent I shouldn't have too many problems out of it. I'll keep y'all updated, do some driving runs in it, get some more content for you guys. I know it's been a while. I'm gonna try to get some more content for y'all. Don't worry. Rusty Bucket's out.